Newly registered lorry cranes in Singapore must install a stability control system from next year. This requirement aims to eliminate the risk of lorry cranes toppling and improve safety for workers. 14 dangerous cases involving such vehicles happened in the past four years, resulting in two deaths. The Manpower Ministry estimates that six in ten incidents in the past decade could have been prevented if a stability system had been installed. 66-year-old Teo Sui Ti has been manoeuvring lorry cranes for the past 28 years. Engaging how much weight the crane can lift, Mr Teo has to keep an eye on these stabilizers, which are located at the side of each lorry. To make work even safer for drivers like Mr. Teo, the Stability Control System, or SCS, will calculate a safe lifting zone that limits the crane's operation. Should the crane exceed its capacity, an indicator will turn from green to amber, with a loud beep warning operators to stop. If that's ignored, the SCS automatically shuts the crane down, preventing potential accidents. The use of technology will definitely reduce the error in the human operations. So the occurrence for, for, for poor operations in terms of implementing lifting in lorry crane will definitely be reduced significantly. To make sure employees know how to operate the system, logistics firms are now training workers in both theory and practice. These sessions will cover the functionality and benefits and the stability control systems, best practices for their use, and troubleshooting techniques, regular refresher courses and assessments. Besides making it mandatory for new lorry cranes to install stability systems, the Manpower Ministry is also encouraging existing lorry crane owners to do so. To help to defray the installation costs, the government has set up an SCS or the Stability Control Systems Grant. So please take advantage of the grant. Owners of both new and existing lorry cranes can claim up to 70% of the costs. Each business entity can claim a maximum amount of $20,000. The grant is open for application until March next year.